Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another quickie tarot reading, Scorpios. Scorpios, thank you guys for your flood of support. I appreciate you guys so, so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much, Scorpio. So today, Scorpio, we're going to pull this quick little quickie for you to let you know what is coming towards you energetically, um, what is showing up in your energy field uh, towards romance and love. Because that's what we do over here, Scorpio. Okay. So thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for uh, <clears throat> joining the Scorpio family over here at Brown Eyes Intuition. And let's continue to grow and evolve and get this shamani and this love together. Okay. So Scorpio, now, this is, now, I'm going to trigger some people. I think I'm going to put this in my title. This is going to trigger some people. And I know y'all going to go ham. In the comment section, you're going to talk all that shit. You're going to talk all that stuff, Scorpio. But deep down inside, spirit knows all things, okay? So what I have here, Scorpio, is I feel like you have someone who is so in love with you, Scorpio. They want you back. This is an ex. But I feel like a lot of times when Scorpio thought that Scorpio was in control, talking about, I don't want to ex back. I don't give a damn to get kick rocks and all this stuff like that. You really wasn't in control, Scorpio. It was spirit uh, blocking this connection because spirit was not going to allow you to be um, in an unhealthy relationship with this person because you were sent to this person to bring good. You guys were supposed to be together and be this amazing couple. You're supposed to be happy together. But more than anything, Scorpio, I feel like you were here to uh, be that bridge to bring some type of healing to your person's life. Okay, whether you like it or not, it is what it is. And I love you. So I feel like <laughs> spirit is taking this person like through the journey, through a maze in their journey of life to get them. Uh, it's like it's kind of like the spirit is testing this person because. It's like spirit is testing your person to see if they're sincere before they can get you, Scorpio. Because the spirit starts with trust. You see that card? It starts with trust and it ends with union. So I feel like ultimately this person is trying to strategize like a maze. Like I say, they're trying to get to you and end up here in this union with Scorpio. But they got to go through some things. They got to they gotta let go some stuff. They got to get rid of some things that no longer serve them. Uh, because really what they really want to do is just come in here and declare how much they really, really love you, Scorpio. They really, really love you. They do. But, you know, this person needed to heal. And I know you've heard it before, but guess what? You're going to hear it again, okay? I'm not Look, I don't believe in clickbait, so I'm only going to put what's really in this video uh, in my title. So if I say it's about an ex, it's about an ex. So if you choose to watch it, then that's on you. But for a lot of Scorpios that want their exes back, like I said, a lot of Scorpios will be with their ex in the right way. It's going to be clean. It's going to be renewed. It's going to be a healthy, loving relationship. But these persons, your persons have to heal. You know, we all come into relationship with some type of baggage here. So like I say, it starts with trust. This person has to trust the process because I feel like this person has been really meditating and praying for you, praying to spirit about you. This is all this person does is think about you, Scorpio. That's it. Every single part, <coughs> excuse me, Scorpio, every single part of their thought process in their everyday life consumes them with Scorpio. So it's like they're praying and they're asking the spirit, how do they get to Scorpio and it's like spirit is telling this person, you're going to have to trust the process. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to have to trust the process if you want to uh, migrate or maneuver through your obstacles. You will get this union. I'm going to tell you, Scorpios, some of you Scorpios who be talking all that smack and there's no disrespect, be talking all that I don't want my ex energy. Spirit is going to give a lot of y'all back to y'all person. And that's all I'm going to say. So, Trust here. So when we clarify trust, Scorpio, we get the ace of swords. Because I'm like, Spirit, is this for real? Is this, is, am I saying this right? Spirit, so you got dang right. You got it right. This is it. This is what it is. This is what you said, brown eyes. This is the truth. 
So it's like spirit is going to be leading this person through strategizing. This person has to strategize through this maze of life, this maze of a lifestyle, this thinking process, uh, the emotional turmoil, whatever this person deals with that's stopping them from really maturing and growing. They're going to have to trust the process because they're going to have to maneuver through this in order to get to this union. They got to go through some things just to get to you. They can't just come to you any kind of way because spirit is not going to allow it. So this is the truth. This person is going to have to face a lot of truth. This person will get a lot of better clarity and understanding. Uh, but it's a new beginning here. So th this means that this person will have a new beginning in something here. Now, this person wants this new beginning with someone who they look at as beautiful, independent, um, and just very confident in this nine of pentacles. And I feel like this is your energy here. Uh, this person wants to get to you. Because when I clarify the nine of pentacles, we get the king of cups. So like I say, this person wants to get to the person that they're in love with. They see you, see Scorpio. They know you're not with anybody. And if you are with someone, it's not anyone serious. Because please believe, they keep tabs on you. I'm going to tell you, because at the bottom of this deck... You got the hermit card. This person is searching for answers because when this person watches you with this page of sword, this is how this person can tell if you got somebody or not. When they watch you, Scorpio, the page of swords, after the page of swords, you got the five of wands. They see that they got competition. Now, I don't feel like you with them, but they do have competition because when they had you back in the past, they had you to themselves. But now when they watch you, they see that they're going to have to fight for you. It's competition. And now it's worrying them. <laughs> they feel uh, disappointed here. and, and uh, They just feel disappointed here. It's like it just takes them out, Scorpio, when they think that they could lose because you got other admirers here. Because all they want is this Ace of Cups with you, Scorpio, because they find you so beautiful. So quite naturally, Scorpio, you're going to have more than one pursuer after you in competition, Scorpio, this person is still holding on to you, even though you may not even be talking to this person, Scorpio. So like I say, this person trying to figure you out, Scorpio, but it's, it's causing them anxiety and worry. So I feel like this person, even in this hermit mode, has been praying and meditating because remember, they're seeking answers here. And Spirit is telling them, well, you're going to have to trust what I tell you. Whatever I tell you to do, I need you to do it. Don't ask any questions. Just do it. Trust the process and, and just strategize because this is a strategy. So like I say, it's like spirit. <coughs> Excuse me, Scorpio. My voice just got dry when I started talking about this person. It's like spirit is going to take this person through this strategy. It's like a maze, so to speak. They got to go through some things. And I feel like this is symbolic or a, a spiritual way of what of what they really physically have to endure in order to get out of whatever they're in because like I said they're just they main focus is to get in this relationship this union with you now we know this union with this wedding ring that's that's a marriage card right there Scorpio they want they want a life with you Scorpio so when I clarify this strategy I get this two of pentacles here now I feel like this person I do feel like this person may be trying to hold it all together in their money, Scorpio, because look, they see you as the nine of pentacles. So they're trying to up their game up, but but they're, I feel like they're just trying to up their game up so that they can, it's like anything that would be a hindrance in you guys' relationship, they're trying to do better by it or get rid of, Scorpio. So I feel like this person either is trying to uh, get their money together or this person <laughs> is trying to figure out how to, you know, strategically approach you. So when I clarify the two of pentacles, Scorpio, we get the magician. So I know this person is really working. They're really in their mind trying to figure out some things, but they're not doing it alone. They got spirit helping them and guiding them here. Because when I clarify the magician, Scorpio, we got the six of wands. This person just wants to be happy. They just want to succeed in life, Scorpio, but they want to be happy with you, Scorpio. I feel like this person is trying to make things happen in their own life, Scorpio, so that they can come to you a better person, Scorpio. So this next card here, Scorpio, is apology. So see, this person, they're steady going through the motions. Now, just follow me here. This is apology here. Now, they know they're going to have to come in here and, and communicate with you, Scorpio. Now, this apology is a very strong energy because it's not just saying, hey, Scorpio, baby, I'm sorry. I love you. No, it's not like that. Now, this is an open up, real, up close uh 
uh, tell everything type of energy in this apology card. So when I clarify apology, Scorpio, we get the seven of cups here. I feel like this person was full of illusions uh, with their options, Scorpio, and they want to apologize to you. I feel like they're going to tell you this. And when I clarify the seven of cups, we have the temperance. So this person has some type of addictions here. This person was codependent on some type of lifestyle here. Could have been all these other options that they had or uh, of this la-la land in, in you know, like I said, this person needed to heal. So I feel like this person either had some type of addiction here, whether it was sex, alcohol, mind frame, whatever. This person had to, uh, this person was overindulgent in it because it left them feeling stuck and bound and restricted here. So this played a lot in this person's thinking process, Scorpio. So whatever this, this thing was that they were doing, perhaps with other people, they were overdoing things with. Because if you notice, Seven of Cups has some of everything and so many different things in these cups. So imagine all these different entities that this person was picking up with them. So I feel like it took them down, Scorpio, because this person had created so many soul ties with all these different options and these illusions, uh, uh, illusions of grandeur, uh, so to speak. But it ended up bounding them, Scorpio. And they're apologizing to you for it. And, it, and I'm just saying it in a simple way because this is a quickie, but this is going to be an in-depth apology. This not going to just say, I'm sorry for how I treated you. They're going to tell you, look, Scorpio, I was fucked up. I, was go I wasn't shit back then. I, I, I wasn't shit, but I was too embarrassed to let you see the real me because I knew you wasn't about that life. I wasn't shit, and I was ashamed to let you see what I really was because I, it hurt me even more to know that you would not want me or see me the same, because when I looked at you, I saw everything, but I was nowhere near that, and I'm telling you, this is the energy, Scorpio, this person was no good, and it wasn't because they were just a ruthless type of person, their circumstances did this to them, Scorpio, so this next card, Scorpio, is good fortune here, now I feel like this is a couple of different ways here, Scorpio, they can look at you as good fortune, because good fortune is not just money, it's just happiness, it's abundance, it's peace of mind, it's health, it's, it's all the good things that make you happy and content here, Scorpio. Like I say, I feel like all of this is a part of this apology, this person. Because look, you do have the eight of one. There's some communication coming. This person wants to talk about some things. So I feel like this person wants to let you know that money, the earthly things here, had this person being very, very uh, reckless in their lifestyle with this knight of wands here, Scorpio. Um... They thought they was the shit, Scorpio. They wanted the money. Um, you know, they were flighty. They, they, they wasn't planning in the roots. They just wanted to come in and just get what they wanted because their main objective was abundance and money and things that, that uh, shine and, and, and shimmer. And so after this night of one, Scorpio, we have this five of, of pentacles here. Now, I feel like what happened was this person may have left you out in the cold because I feel like they're still apologizing. Uh, they left you out in the cold to go team up and work with someone else, Scorpio, with this three of pentacles here. And I feel like they want to talk about it because I feel like this, this eight of wands is, is the same energy as this apology. This is going to be an in-depth conversation. They want you to know what, 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 what they were stuck on in this eight of swords and what they're apologizing for. Uh, the good fortune came with the, all these other options because if this person had any money, if they had any clout, if because I see nightlife, this person was a bartender or a club owner or dealt with a lot of, uh, you know, party energy. Then a, a lot of things, a, a lot of, you know, opposite sex came, a lot of partying came with it. And so I feel like this person left you out of that, Scorpio, because you was... <sighs> You, you, you showed this person too much of, of the real size, Scorpio, but everybody else around this person was getting along, was fitting in to get in. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they left you out in the cold because they'd rather work and team up and partner up with other people because the other people was too busy admiring them and, and uh, boosting them up. And so this eight of wands, I feel like, represents this, this long-ass conversation that's going to happen with you too, Scorpio. But check out this 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 thing that's taking place in this person's life. Now we have no show, Scorpio. I feel like this person is tired of everybody that they used to deal with. They just tired of this shit. And you see these two glasses. Look, they they ain't even fill these glasses up. 
Because this person is not showing up. I feel like people are calling your person restricted from different numbers. A lot of people who this person is, is, is trying to disconnect from, Scorpio, uh, because they're trying to get to you. Uh, but I feel like this person is trying to ignore a lot of people and move differently here. And so when I clarify the no-show, Scorpio, we get the world card. So this person is walking away from all these hookups and all these little uh, dates because this person hit a lot of extra people around them, Scorpio. No show. This person is this person is misleading people, but I feel like it's easier for this person to do this. But in all actuality, this person is, is finna leave this lifestyle and anything attached to it alone, Scorpio, because they heading your way. They want to settle down now, Scorpio. So this no show means this person really is putting things to an end slowly but surely with the no call, with the no show. This person is low key ending these cycles, endings here. Because this person is in search of someone who is loving and nurturing to them with this Queen of Cups, Scorpio. They want to renew this connection with this Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, you got the Three of Cups. Is the Three of Cups here twice? Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups. This person want to renew this connection with you, Scorpio, because look, you are this person's wish fulfilled. So it's like this person, if they don't date you, if they whatever they're doing, if they're not doing it with you, Scorpio, they don't even want to do it no more. The old people no longer are good enough because they're realizing that they're, they're not happy. They're, they don't have the best. Let me tell you what's the best for this person. This is, this is who they feel like is the best. You're this person's total wish fulfilled, but they got to end some things, and this is exactly what they're doing with this world card and this no-show. They, they say, you know what? You ain't Scorpio, goddammit. I don't even want to be here. Now, this next card, Scorpio, like I said, it's nightlife. This person was the life of the party, Scorpio. They had to always be at all the functions. This person got a lot of attention. This is why I said this person may have owned a club or partied a lot, a, a party planner or you know, a venue person or, or, or this person just like to get out a lot. This person is tired of this shit, Scorpio. I'm telling you because this person, when they go out and they hang out with all these people, they got to put on this false mask and act like they're happy, but they're not happy. They just going along to get along. So when I clarify nightlife, Scorpio, we get the eight of cups. This person is going to be done with all this shit. They walking away from this type of energy and whomever is attached to this uh, nightlife don't want your person to leave because eight of cups is a lot of cups to walk away from. But this person, and look, most of these cups done ran over. They don't even want this shit. Even this, whatever type of love they was trying to, this nightlife, whatever that consists of, could have been something raunchy, freaking nasty, disgusting, vile, whatever. You know how shit go down in the midnight hour uh, when they think ain't nobody watching, they think everybody's sleeping, shit. That type of shit, multiple, or, I mean, all type of whatever you could think about the nightlife drugs, alcohol, whatever. They're walking away from there because they're not happy. They need something more. So when I clarify the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, we get the chariot. So you could be dealing with the cancer. Scorpio, this person getting the hell, the hell away from anything that's toxic that's standing in their way of getting to Scorpio here. So when I clarify the chariot, Scorpio, we get this page of wands. They want to talk to you, Scorpio. I'm telling you, I feel like all this communication is because you got this person blocked and every move that they make, they thinking about Scorpio, but Every type of communication way, Scorpio, because I see so many communication cards, but I feel like you got this person blocked. More than anything, they want to talk to you. Now, Scorpio, you have passage. Now, this is the spirit card for me because I feel like spirit is a, about to give this person, allow this person access to you once again, Scorpio. And I feel like because when I clarify passage, we get the hanging man. We get the five of cups and we get the nine of wands. This person, Scorpio, is so grieved. This person energy is full of grief. This is why they no longer want to be a part of the nightlife because they're tired of wearing this, this fake smile, you know, this nightlife, all this lust and all this disgust because they, they fucked up, Scorpio. This person is messed up. But this person, I feel like the universe has taken pity on this person, Scorpio. Even the word says that the creator shows love and compassion to whom he will. So it's like this person is so broken, Scorpio. This is grief, grieving energy. Something that they try to cover up, but deep down this person is grieving. Something about this grieving energy, Scorpio. Because look, this five of cups is not just because of you. 
And this nine of wands is not just because they want you back. This is something that's deeper than this. This is also, I feel like this, and you look, this is the childhood wound. Just follow me. Spirit is about to get this person access to you because of all this grieving that they're doing and they're going through, Scorpio. Because remember, Scorpio, you're the queen of cups now. You're the queen of cups. You're the love and nurturing energy. You can heal. You can help bring healing to this person, Scorpio. Now, this next card is breakthrough. This is the breakthrough, Scorpio. This is it. This person is about to have a major, major breakthrough in their life because of all this grieving energy, Scorpio. So when I clarify breakthrough, we have the six of cups. See, this is why this person is beat up and grieving because it extends from their childhood. But I feel like spirit is about to heal something or something. This something is about to happen. This person going to get a breakthrough from their childhood. Because look, clarify the six of cups. We get the page of cups. Look at all this kitty energy here, Scorpio. Breakthrough. This person is about to get a major breakthrough, Scorpio. When we clarify the page of cups, Scorpio, we get this four of wands. And we clarify the four of wands, Scorpio. We get the knight of pentacles. So spirit is, is have, telling this person a, a major breakthrough so that they can have a union with you, Scorpio, because until they got this breakthrough, Scorpio, they would have just been, look, this person just would have been this wounded, grieving energy that would have just self-sabotaged you and anything that they touched because of their upbringing and their childhood and their love would have been immature. Look, imagine a page of cups holding up a four of wands. This page of cups could not keep this four of wands together because this person never really grew up emotional. This was spirit telling you. This is why this person took forever to offer you this four of wands, Scorpio. They wasn't mature enough to give it to this person. This person could not only love you as far as what they knew. And I feel like their love was a child love because that's as far as that's what they got. They got a little immature love, so that's what they could have given you, uh, Scorpio. Uh, until uh, This is why they never brought you something stable and reliable in this four ones, because their love was too immature because of their childhood. Like I say, a page of cups ain't no, can't no, ain't no, way, uh, ain't no way in hell can run no four ones, this, this house. You ain't doing all of that. You're a kid yourself. So spirit is telling you this is why this person never brought you this and, and committed this to you because they was too freaking immature. They could only love you as far as they were taught and they wasn't taught very much in love as you can tell because they kids in their energy in love. But this, this lack of, of, of love and nurturing energy is the energy that broke your person down that they're still grieving the, the same grieving energy today. But spirit is healing this person because this is what's bringing your person a major breakthrough in their life, Scorpio. To this last card, which is the union. This is you, Scorpio. You remember they started off in trust. They had to go through all this shit. This person had to go through a lot of shit. They had to end some cycles, get rid of some shit, see the truth for what it was, trust the master's plan. Uh, then spirit uh, heard this person and allow them to, like I say, a lot of Scorpios going to be in the comment section talking about they don't want no X, but I'm telling you, a lot of you Scorpios talking this stuff, or for a select few of you, Spirit done already decided that they can have you back, Scorpio. Some of y'all can, this person can get back, and you're going to marry this person, Scorpio. So when I clarify this union card, Scorpio, <laughs> y'all going to get me. We get the sun card. So this could be a Leo too, Scorpio. You bring this person so much happiness, so much joy. Spirit is saying that this person get with you. It's going to be like it was supposed to be in the first place. You guys are going to be abundant and happy together. So when I clarify the sun card, Scorpio, we get this six of swords. This person wants you guys' relationship to move towards a calmer, calmer place. This person does not want tension between the two of you because they look at you as setting boundaries and being guarded towards them, Scorpio, when all they want to do is build a bunch. See, this is initially what you were supposed to do with your person. Like I say, y'all was supposed to be a boss, boss couple. Y'all was supposed to build this empire with this Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. But this person had to have this breakthrough. 
I see a lot of your persons um, going to come back to most, some of you Scorpios, but they got to go through their breakthrough, especially if your person is a male. These male, male uh, are affected differently in their upbringing than the females. They, they handle it differently. And I'm not saying both parties are not equally affected. I'm not saying that. I know you are. It's horrible. But this male is even worse, Scorpio, because they never grew up. That from their childhood, this childhood is what left your person messed up. But spirit is telling you they're gonna have they done had a breakthrough because they end in cycles over here. World card, they're not showing up to the parties no more. They're giving up all of this toxic uh nightlife. They they, they stop doing shit strange for a little change, Scorpio. They turning their back on that shit, Scorpio. They don't want they say they don't care who love them. They don't want that shit no more. Because ultimately, Scorpio. They coming in for you. You're the one that makes them happy. It's you that they love. Scorpio, Scorpio. It's you that they need, honey. I'm telling you. This sun card with this ten of pentacles, Scorpio. With this six of swords, they trying to move this relationship to a calmer place so you guys can be happy and abundant together. But it's only after this major breakthrough only after this major breakthrough is spirit going to allow this person access or passageway to you. Look, they can't get to you even if you let them. If you tell them it's okay, they still can't get to you until spirit said because they got to deal with this breakthrough first. Because if not, then you're going to just keep on loving a little ass boy with skid marks in his drawers type of energy, Scorpio. And this is what I have for you. It's a little bit longer, Scorpio. I'm sorry. But this is what I have for you. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, Scorpio. I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpio.